It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Arkell's Brewery in Swindon. And this is a bottle of their 3B Classic Best Bitter. I'm really looking forward to this from the bottle. I, I got it out of the fridge about 20, 25 minutes ago. So there's a little bit of condensation on the bottle uh, where it's hit the slightly warmer air and science does its thing. I'm not explaining condensation to you. Um, <laughs> there's the bottle cap for this one. 500 ml bottle. The beer is 4% ABV. Really interesting beer, this. There's a lot of history. Lot of history behind this beer. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. Lovely. So we have a, a very good one finger, slightly off white head. A little bit of carbonation there in the glass. It's a really lovely ruby, deep coloured looking ale. So you've used a combination of some light malts and a little bit of Maybe a little bit of Vienna malt, maybe, maybe a little, a darker malt, maybe a touch of roasted malt, just to, just to get that deep, complex colour there in the beer. It's relatively clear, uh, it's not a bottle conditioned beer. It looks very good, let's get the aroma. That smells beautiful, really beautiful beer. Dark fruit coming from those fantastic British hops. Blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. And then a little bit of roasty toastiness coming from the malt too. I'm ready to dive into this one. It smells fantastic. A little bit of toffee malt as well, as I was just getting that last sentence out of picking up toffee malt. Here we go. Cheers, everybody. Absolutely spot on. Absolutely fantastic. What a beer this is. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. It's 4%. The recipe hasn't changed in over 90 years. Some of you may have seen my video of Swindon, the breweries, bars and pubs of Swindon town centre. Brilliant place. Brilliant place. I'm so glad I went. I'm so glad I I went to that place and, and there was so much going on from the craft beer bars. I can't remember the road now, to be honest with you. I've come into it not, you know, not, not, just, out, I can't think of the road where it was. Anyway, there was a little street, there was a couple of streets in Swindon Town Centre, which was kind of designated areas for craft beer. Well worth a look. And then of course there's Arkell's Brewery that we went to first, which was just tremendous. A belt driven brewery, just just tremendous history. And Alex, the head brewer, Alex Arkell, who showed me around, talked to me about this beer. Now we went through the record books they had um, in their museum upstairs, which, which I didn't show you. Um, maybe I should have film the museum, but that might be for, for, for another day. But there was, there was brewer's logs open, and one of the brewer's logs was regarding this beer, 3B, classic best bitter. And the brewer's log is over 90 years old, and, and they're still brewing it to this 90 year old recipe. Not much has changed.
So what are we getting? Fantastic biscuit malt coming through, toffee, a great drinkability, it's very refreshing. And then that dark berry fruit that I mentioned earlier, that little bit of blueberry, blackberry, raspberry, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. In terms of balance, there's a little bit of sweetness to begin with, there's a little bit of bitterness on the back end. It's nicely carbonated. The carbonation, as you put the beer in your mouth, you get a little bit of spring of carbonation. That helps to push the beer around the inside of the mouth to release more of that flavor. You've got taste buds all around your mouth, your tongue, top of your mouth, back of your throat, cheeks. So if the beer is a little bit, if that carbonation is there to really kind of just get a bit of, get it around the mouth a little bit more. It, it, it helps to kind of react with your palate and it just releases more of that that flavour. It, it, it's a really good beer. The next thing I wanted to talk about, which I find really interesting, is that whilst I was there, I asked Alex about three Bs. Why is it called three Bs? And because this beer is so old, because it's an, uh, over 90 years since they've been brewing this beer, it might be a little bit older. Back then, uh, a lot of people were illiterate. Back then, a lot of people wouldn't have known how to read and write. So that's where you get your XXX beers from. And that's where, in this case, you get your BBB. Because your brewer would have been, he wouldn't have been able to really read and write too well. Or the brewery workers, definitely the brewery workers who were kind of hands-on in the brewery. But they would have understood BBB. They would have been able to write BBB or XXX or triple A, whatever they called the beer. So it was it was just a way of saying, that is our classic best bitter. If there was nobody in the room to ask the question, is that the best bitter we're brewing today? If it's just you in the brewery, then you'll know with those three Bs that this is the best bitter. And I think that's just, that, to, to go through all of that history, to carry on with the naming of this beer. I mean, if I bought this in a bottle shop, or if I bought this in, there was a little, a lovely little wine and bottle shop in the centre of Swindon, which sold these beers. If I picked this up without going to the, I would have been a little bit confused. Why have they called it 3B? I wonder if they say on the back. Uh, built in 1843 on John Arkell's farm, our family alongside many other local families are still brewing beer on the very same site. Our passion for beer has only got stronger and we still use a manual hands-on process so the skill of our brewers goes into every pint. I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. So they haven't they haven't talked about... Um, oh, and Alex has signed it on the back of the bottle here, Alex Arkell, head brewer. So three Bs. Yeah, I mean, I've explained it. Um, it's probably worth, I mean, comment in the comments box. Are you fascinated? Are you fascinated by this history? I am, I certainly am. I had a f if you haven't seen the Swindon video, put in beers, bars and breweries of Swindon and you'll find it. But uh, we start off at Arkell's Brewery and uh, I'm gonna finish on, the f on this note. This is the type of beer that you want four or five of. It's 4% ABV. It's rich, it's full of flavor. Drink pints of it. Pints and pints and pints of it. With family and friends. So I'm gonna rate it. Our cows, 3B. Classic, best bitter. I, I think for the ABV, for that 4% ABV, the drinkability, the amount of flavour they've crammed into this beer for a 4% ABV is just fantastic. It really is. It's a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.